and rolling. So hi, I'm Derek and I'm here today with Tori Leach and I'm working on opening a GMO free grocery store in Southern Maryland. And that's really exciting. Where did you get the idea that you were going to open a grocery store? Well, I actually learned about GMOs with the people I work with and once I found out about them I went home and researched and I just couldn't believe what was going on. So I started a blog and that just wasn't enough and I realized one day that I'm going to open a grocery store and ever since then I've never looked back. It's my passion and I finally found something that I want to live for and I want to change the world and if it's just one person that I teach about GMOs and learn and, and teach them that GMOs are bad and that we can save lives and it's killing you, then it's worth it. Even if you know it doesn't work or whatever happens, the grocery store is worth doing Say. Sure. So you're a person who wants uh, more uh, GMO-free food to be available to people. Uh, would you be open to the idea of competition? More, more oh, GMO of stores? Of course. I would rather. I I would hope people would come to me that would want to open a grocery store because I think that we should all come together and grow and and make this as big as possible. I don't. I want competition because that means we're, you know, we're getting bigger and we're saving the world. Yeah, that's kind of different from a regular business yeah. that might not want competition. Yeah, exactly. So you can tell your heart's really in it. Uh, where did you start with this issue? How did you first learn about GMO food? Actually, the the brewmaster that makes the beer at my work, he makes all our beer completely GMO free and he told me about it. One day we had like a two hour talk and he told me about GMOs are. GMOs were and I couldn't believe it because I used to eat horrible. Like I used to eat Doritos and all the bad things that we didn't know about. And then I went home, researched it on Natural News and after that it's just history. I just couldn't look back. And Jeffrey Smith. Jeffrey Smith was a big person that changed my life forever. A lot of people who uh, are interested in learning about healthy food know natural news. What is your blog? Uh, it's actually our organic story. I haven't been that diligent on it because I'm trying to open the grocery store so that's a full-time job right now but once I open I want to start getting it up and running again and post more things so people can learn. Now when other people hear about your idea they're going to want to do it. What steps or what advice do you have for other people who might want to open a grocery store of GMO free food? Contact me, I'll help you out. Because I, I'm right now, I'm kind of up a creek without a paddle because I can't turn to anyone and I'm also so young so people look at me like, oh well, you know, who is she? So I'm, I'm getting ideas, I also, I'm reading books, I went to school a little bit for business but I dropped out of school and I'm just feeling my way through it and I, I love it so much that I know it's going to work and I don't have any, I'm, I know it's going to work. I, I don't think it's going to fail. So Tori, tell me a little bit about the challenges that you've had to face in this uh, adventure. Um, <clears throat> I have had so many problems. I mean, everything from, we went to a, a show from a distributor and it's an all organic and natural distributor, but it was completely I had to explain what GMOs are to some of the vendors. They didn't even know what it was at all and I had to teach a lot of people because some people can't afford GMO labeling. They can't and um, because the non-GMO project is very expensive, that's what they've told me. It's expensive and it's a very long process and they're so busy now with everyone trying to get labeled that it takes a long time so they can't get into places like my store and that's frustrating to them. So that's one problem. Another problem is, is who knows if the FDA or something's going to happen because I'm a completely GMO free store or if Monsanto's going to come and try to sue me. Who knows? Because that's another thing that is possible because you always hear things in the wood woodwork of that, that people get sued or, you know, something happens to them. Right, so, so you feel endangered yeah. uh, by just doing what you're uh, doing, uh, yeah. selling this healthy food. Yeah, and then of course I have to learn all about business, but I'm just... I'm doing a lot of research and learning as much as I can and I'm also doing online shopping so people that aren't near us, they can come, I mean they can go online and order it and we'll ship it to them. So you can shop completely GMO free and we're going to try to work on cheap shipping rates so anyone can have that option. That sounds fantastic. Can you tell people where they can get in touch with you if they want to learn more? It's Tori's Market. Thank you. It's actually this. I don't know if you can zoom in right there. Sure. Oh, on the QR code? Yeah, we have that too. 
and Perfect. but it's toriesmarket.com um, the grocery store will be called Tories GMO free market but just to make it simple it's toriesmarket.com and I have a website I'm still working on it because you know I'm not completely done yet but it's somewhat ready I can't we can't shop yet online because of we don't have the grocery store because I'm just gonna pick everything out the grocery store that you order and I'll ship it right you know the next few days so that's a really cool idea, and I know a lot of people are going to uh, want to go and check out your website and uh, offer some help as, as you've asked for. Uh, there are a lot of people who are interested in doing something very similar, and you've already started a lot of the groundwork, so yeah. this is great that they can get in touch with you and, and uh, do this. Well, I've got one last tough question for you because okay. you're a potential business owner. <laughs> um, can you tell me, are you, uh, do you have any sympathy for other businesses who say they simply can't afford to label their GMO foods? Yeah. Um, I, well, I do have sympathy for new small businesses. For craft, no, because they have money. You know, they have money to pay for commercials. They have money to label GMOs. But for small businesses, I have a lot of sympathy. And I actually, my dream is to start start the grocery store, expand more grocery stores, and then open a nonprofit where someone can come, a small business can come to me and say, "Well, I have, you know, I want to be labeled. I'm completely GMO free, but I can't afford it. And I want to have a nonprofit where they can come do that, and it doesn't cost anything." That's what I would love to work on, but that's down the road and going to take some time. But that's another dream that I hope to fulfill. Well, Tori, you're a dreamer and you have a positive attitude. Thanks. Those are key ingredients to success. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Have, have a good one. <laughs> you too. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Oh, one more thing. While the camera's rolling? Um, sure. Also, uh, I'm going to be on Indiegogo.com, and that's where you can donate money, and I give you things back for it. I still need to make my video, and I'm going to be posting it soon, but it will be on my website where you can go and donate and get a t-shirt or some simple straws, the glass, reusable straws, and different things, or a t-shirt or some gift cards. So go check that, that out, and if you can donate, that's great. If you can't, just your support's awesome. What should people Google? Toriesmarket.com. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you.